here we come to something that is extremely important to understand. We're going to talk about integers, specifically negative integers, being raised to a power. Now, you will see it in two different ways, and I want you to really pay attention to the differences in this notation, because these do mean totally different things. Let's first start with the one on the right here, the negative 3 in parentheses squared. Now, whenever you think about the order of operations, remember parentheses always comes first. And in this case, parentheses, there's really nothing to do inside there. That just says that's a negative 3. Well, next would come our exponents. And the definition of an exponent is that it is the base times itself this many times, or the, the, the exponent number of times. So what this literally means is negative 3, which is our base here, times itself two times. Now another way you can think about it is let's pretend that our exponent here reaches out and grabs the closest thing to it. Well when it does that it's going to touch the parenthesis, meaning everything in the parenthesis is being affected by this power of 2. So this literally means negative 3 times negative 3. Well 3 times 3 is 9 and because our powers, he, I'm sorry, our powers, our signs here uh, are the same thing, then that means that our answer would be positive 9. Now I want us to go back over here to the one on the left now. This means something completely different than what we saw in this first problem that we did. In this problem, this literally says the opposite of or the negative of 3 squared. Do you notice that in this case, the squaring or the exponent is only affecting the 3, not the negative. The 3 is the only thing being affected. So if you thought about it as that, you know, reaching out, if this 2 reached out and touched something, the only thing it would touch is the 3. So this literally means we have to do order of operations. Exponents come before and subtract or positive and negative. So when we would uh, do the exponent, that would say 3 times 3, which is 9. But now we have to go back and we have to take care of that negative or that opposite sign. So we're talking about the opposite of 3 times 3, which would be negative 9. 